Hey YouTube, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and today's app review is going to be Fresh Paint. Fresh Paint is essentially a painting application for Windows 8 and Windows RT, but the good thing about this is that it's pretty different from the painting applications that most people are used to for computers. You know, even Photoshop I would even give. Uh, mainly because this is probably the closest simulation to a real life canvas, uh, which is a, basically a type of paint painting. Uh, this is essentially the closest to a real life canvas that you'll probably find on a computer, at least that I've found so far. Uh, this is fresh paint, and when we get into it, you can see right here. This is the main screen right here. Uh, it, gives you, it gives you new. It gives you uh, basically some advertisement. Um, basically, when you click on it, it just gives you an in-app purchase screen, and then you can see little in-app purchases. As it scrolls through, you can click on different stuff that will show up. See the and right here you can see the different packs that they have. So they have different packs that essentially allow you to buy and you can draw on. Basically if you have kids and stuff like that or you just feel like coloring uh, you can spend either two dollars for this one. It comes with 50 paintings which when you click on it you can see some different types of paintings that it comes with right here. You can see. And then they have the adventure pack they have the friends pack, they have the variety pack, craft pack, creative pack, fun pack, finding Nemo pack, and then you have my paintings. My paintings essentially shows you what paintings that you've currently been working on. So for instance, I tried to color this one as you can see right here. When I was testing out the app, uh, let's see how the colors meld together. Uh, this is what you can do. So let's let's go into this painting and continue to edit it. So you can see right here, here's the interface right here. Let me click this water bucket here and give you a quick rundown. Quick rundown of the actual interface here without the uh, without the extra stuff, the colors and everything. This right here tells you the painting. This tells you uh, you know full screen stuff like that this tells you this is a fan basically the fan allows you to dry the current paint that you put down that way uh, you can color over it and it won't smear or and it won't mix the colors together just like how real painters would need their paint to dry before they paint over it again so it's essentially a quick way to do that and what I was talking about with the textures is that if you look closely in the background uh, you'd see all these little dots and stuff in this background or it's some kind of texture in the background. This texture actually does change the how the texture of the painting will be. It won't, you know, be a flat background like how it is on paint or Photoshop unless you, you know, of course if you edit really well on Photoshop you can get a texture. But this one has a texture canvas background uh, that affects how the paint will be applied so it shows up differently. You can see it right here. Uh, you can see the texture. If you look very closely, you can see the texture uh, affecting how the paint is applied on the whale here. Now, when we right click or swipe in from the bottom or top, you get the painting interface where you see all of the different colors that they have. Different. Um, you can see I mixed some colors together. I mixed this uh, bluish color with this green one to get uh, this middle-ish uh, green one. But when we start from here, you can see back. Back takes you back to the drawing, the main screen, the main menu, essentially. When we go back in, you can go to Tools, which we're in right now, and you can click to go to Surface. Surface allows you to choose all of the different canvases that are available for this painting. So you can see, if you look closely in the background, when I click on different canvases, the background does, in fact, change. Uh, you can change it to multiple different ones. They have a paper style. They have paper styled ones, and they have canvas styled ones. And of course, you can clear and you can dry a canvas. Uh, and then they have different backgrounds. So if you want a black background, you can go with that. If you want a gray one, you can go with that. If you want to just pick a background, you can go with it. And then if you want to upload or use your webcam to make a choose a background, you can do that too. So you can use your own photos and then paint over them and make them look cool. If or if you feel like just coloring in general, you can do that. And then when we go back to tools here, this is the main part that I wanted to show you because it's pretty interesting compared to go to my, going to Microsoft Paint or using Photoshop. Now for starters here from the left to right we have the erase brush, we have the drop eye drop tool which is essentially allows you when you click on it you can you know this sensor circle here uh, 
whatever it's on top of is the color that you're going to currently be using so if I go over this one and I just double click click away you can, you're going to see that this is the new color that I'm using it's the same one as this you can see right here and if I click the fan so I can show you the fan tool uh, check this blue light bluish uh, color here when I color over it you can see it did not smudge or anything as compared to how this smudged over here because I clicked the fan which allowed it to dry and that means I can paint over it without it smudging it's like painting 101 if you're in college or if you were to take a college class uh, and you can see the eyedrop tool here tells you what color you're currently going to be using this right here is an interesting tool I call it a smear tool but it's not exactly what it is um, on this app but this tool allows you to smudge you know smudge smudge a drawing that something that is wet the paint that is wet it allows you to click on it and then you can drag it and depending on how fast you drag it depends on how uh, will affect how long you can use that color so for instance if we click this and then if we want to click red and then I want to click red and I just do some weird little circle type of thing and then when we click this tool right here uh, this allows you to choose different sizes of it from you know biggest to smallest and stuff like that I'm gonna go with this medium sized size one when I when I click into the canvas when I click slowly and I drag very slowly it can go on pretty endlessly but you'll slowly see it pinching out to you know getting thin to pinching out but if I go quickly you can see that it just disappeared it, it pinched out and that works for anything that is still wet you can't click on anything that's dried or anything like that so when I click this blue one over here I can keep drawing I can keep using it but you're gonna see that the thing is actually getting thinner and thinner and then if I do it quickly it pinched out just like that I didn't unclick it just pinched out so if I can do this you can see it pinched out right there so it's a cool effect that they have cool tool I just call it the pinch out tool because depending on how long you hold it it can pinch out uh, if you do it quickly if you move the mouse quickly or you move your stylus quickly it can pinch out just like that and then they have different size uh, things for these things too except for this one because this is eyedrop uh, they have different size erasers now the eraser a uh, little something different with this eraser it's not something that you can erase everything uh, if something has been dried with the fan it will not erase so uh, for instance here this has not been dried with the fan so I can erase this this has been uh, dried out with the fan so I if you notice I can't erase it this bubbles can't erase it the main whale you see I can't erase it and then right here I can't erase that either but this red over here that you saw me just apply I can erase it because I did not use the fan to uh, dry it out so they cannot be erased it's not permanent yet when I click the fan however you can see I clicked it just there uh, when I go back you can see I cannot erase it anymore because everything is permanent because it's been dried completely just like real paint unless you were just splashing with water which that is not something that you can do in this app and some other things they have here are uh, different style uh, utensils that you can use to make your drawing so they have a basic pencil with different size tips and everything like that and you can see how big the tips are uh, when you click on it and then they have this here that gives you two sides of things to paint and you can see right here you can choose what sides uh, you want to paint with and then they have this here which is more squared rather than circled you can see right here the tip is circled and right here the tip is squared and then if I zoom in some more with this you can see it's squared and then they have different size paint brushes so they have the basic paint brush they have this little wider one and then they have the widest paint brush which allows you to you know paint some pretty wide things so if I want to go here and choose this tannish color uh, and then I click here to test it out I can actually click into the canvas and you can see I use the widest paintbrush and I can create nice brush strokes just like that and it even gives you a nice effect of the paint brush in the center because the center of the paintbrush sometimes does not uh, paint properly it's usually the edges that paint properly and then they have this other paintbrush here which is easily the you know it's just another basic paintbrush just a little wider than this one and some cool thing that I wanted to show everyone was what you can do here with the colors okay so I, you click this to clear what colors you want to uh, to clear the colors that are here as you can see they disappeared uh, 
but when I click on say this black one here and I click it here let me make this smaller let me in fact use this let me make this smaller you see I put black there and then I'm gonna put white here so you can see I put white here it's white essentially the same color as this uh, background here so if I color on top of the black mixing white with black we all as if we've taken our art classes from elementary school we know that white with black makes gray sorry for the uh, inaccuracy I'm using a mouse I have a stylus I have a laptop with a stylus so this it make it, it makes it a lot more precise in fact I'll show you a sample image of something that I, my friend did using the touch screen and the stylus on the laptop and then when you click this you can see the full thing come out here and you can create different style you can create different combinations and you can place them here so it's it's a cool feature that they have you can you know choose different gradients and everything like that or you can deal with your basic uh, primary colors and secondary colors and just mix them together with your free will we can use red and blue mix them together and you can see we got the spider-man looking color you can see it's slowly turning purple so it's it's a really good application that I personally really like a lot when you click this arrow here by the way uh, it just cycles through more of the colors that you've recently used and when you click this bucket here you can see you don't really can't really tell that it does anything but in fact it does does do something what it does is it clears your paint brushes so you can see this paint brush right here uh, is basically like half red half blue or pinkish on the edge when we click this paint when we click this uh, water bucket here it clears all of the colors that are on the paintbrush it cleans the paintbrush just like if you were in art class when you were painting uh, you dip your paintbrush in water you know swirl it around and it clears the paintbrush so you can add different colors and not have like melding colors different together so it's so it's a cool thing that you can do uh, I really like this application and it, it it's something that if you have kids or if you have the Sony Vio tap uh, it's like a 20 inch screen that is touch screen and it's mobile and everything like that it's got like a four hour or two hour battery uh, it's something really cool that you could use or if you have a surface pro this is a really good recommendation for that because of the Wacom stylus um, when we go into settings also uh, you can see some of the settings that are available here it's just help fresh paint basically giving them feedback privacy statement send feedback as you can see support permissions permissions again uses your webcam or notifications just probably the notifications is probably just to um, just to tell that tell you whether they have new painting types available that you can purchase and then they have review wait rate and review which takes you to the Windows Store now this is fresh paint fresh paint is uh, a free Windows 8 slash Windows RT app uh, you can download it right away and it works pretty much on this it works on the surface RT really well it's not jittery or anything like that uh, I personally recommend this a lot and let me just show you something real quick this is the um, snap view of it you can't exactly paint with the snap view but you can view your recent paintings with the snap view so if you can see this one I only have one painting we can click this and you can see uh, it's it's supposed to show you more paintings that you know you have done so to test the snap view even better let's in fact do this to end this uh, final thing here let's click new and then let's just put something down here like let's just do that and then when we go back you can see I have two here so when I go to snap view it should it was it's supposed to show you you know a list of the paintings that you've done or when you click on it or if you click this it's supposed to show you all of the paintings included in this but I'm not sure why it's doing that maybe it's a bug but essentially that's pretty much what it is uh, this is fresh paint and fresh paint is free on the Windows Store uh, if you can check it out today and you can pick it up it's it can it's a good time waster or if you like drawing and you like sketching and like art this is something really good for you like me personally I am a graphic design major so this is something that I could use really well unfortunately this computer isn't touchscreen and I don't plan on buying a touchscreen because I don't have the money for it but essentially this is it it's fresh paint it's for Windows 8 this is Quaku 
from Next Gen Windows, and I'll catch you later. Leave a comment in the box below if you have any or suggestions for future videos. Peace.